Welcome to Quiz Plant, the home of exclusive quizzes. You have made it to part three. Another 25 questions to help send you off to a great career in the cybersecurity space as a certified ethical hacker. If you are new here, check out parts one and two. Before we get started, hit the subscribe button. Number 51. What is the main security advantage of using cloud services? A. Reduced operational costs. B. Enhanced physical security. C. Scalability of resources. D. Always on access. The answer is B. Enhanced physical security. Number 52. Which compliance certification is crucial for cloud providers handling credit card information? A. E. E. P. A. B. FIRPA. C. PCI DSS. D. GDPR. The answer is C. PCI DSS. Number 53. What is the primary purpose of digital forensics? A. To enhance network speed. B. To recover and examine digital evidence. C. To improve software efficiency. D. To monitor network traffic. The answer is B. To recover and examine digital evidence. Number 54. Which tool is used for data recovery in digital forensics? A. Nessus. B. Wireshark. C. Encase. D. Metasploit. The answer is C. Encase. Number 55. What law governs the management of electronic records in U.S. federal agencies? A. HIPAA. B. Sarbanes-Oxley Act. C. FERPA. D. Freedom of Information Act. The answer is D. Freedom of Information Act. Number 56. Which ethical principle should guide an ethical hacker's actions? A. Responsibility to share all findings publicly. B. Exploitation of found vulnerabilities for gain. C. Obtaining proper authorization before testing. D. Prioritizing monetary gain over security. The answer is C. Obtaining proper authorization before testing. Number 57. What is a keylogger primarily used for? To monitor CPU performance. B. To record keystrokes on a device. C. To update software. D. To encrypt data. The answer is B. To record keystrokes on a device. Number 58. What type of malware replicates itself onto other computers on a network without user intervention? A. Virus. B. Worm. C. Trojan. D. Ransomware. The answer is B. Worm. Number 59. What principle is fundamental in designing a secure architecture? A. Least privilege. B. Most privilege. C. First privilege. D. Last privilege. The answer is A. Least privilege. Number 60. Which architecture layer is most vulnerable to injection attacks? A. Presentation. B. Application. 
C network, D database. The answer is D database. Number 61. What type of cybersecurity threat is commonly associated with IoT devices? A. Overheating. B. Physical tampering. C. Firmware vulnerabilities. D. Screen resolution issues. The answer is C. Firmware vulnerabilities. Number 62. What is the security implication of using quantum computing? A. Faster data processing. B. Increased risk of traditional encryption being broken. C. Reduced software compatibility. D. Higher energy consumption. The answer is B. Increased risk of traditional encryption being broken. Number 63. What is a common defense against cross-site request forgery, CSRF? A. Using GET requests for sensitive actions. B. Implementing same-site cookies. C. Disabling cookies. D. Allowing all cores requests. The answer is B. Implementing same-site cookies. Number 64. Which HTTP header is specifically designed to enhance web security by enabling browser features like XSS filter, clickjacking protection, etc.? A. Content security policy. B. Server. C. E tag. D. Accept. The answer is A. Content security policy. Number 65. What is the main purpose of the SMTP protocol? A. To enable secure file transfer. B. To route internet traffic. C. To send email messages. D. To manage network devices. The answer is C. To send email messages. Number 66. What is the most effective way to secure a server from remote attacks? A. Regularly updating software and security patches. B. Installing multiple antivirus programs. C. Disabling unused services. D. Both A and C. The answer is D. Both A and C. Number 67. Which technology is designed to prevent data leaks by monitoring and blocking sensitive data transmissions? A. DLP, Data Loss Prevention. B. Firewall. C. VPN. D. IDS. The answer is A. DLP, Data Loss Prevention. Number 68. What is risk assessment in the context of information security? A. The process of identifying and prioritizing risks based on potential impact. B. The act of transferring all identified risks to a third party. C. The process of eliminating all risks associated with information security. D. The routine maintenance tasks to mitigate security risks. The answer is A the process of identifying and prioritizing risks based on potential impact. Number 69. Which practice helps in preventing SQL injection attacks? A. Using regular expressions for input validation. B. Employing parameterized queries. C. Disabling JavaScript. D. Restricting file permissions. The answer is B employing parameterized queries. Number 70. 
Which authentication method involves something the user has, knows, and is? A. Two-factor authentication. B. Multi-factor authentication. C. Single-factor authentication. D. Biometric authentication. The answer is B, multi-factor authentication. Number 71. What is a major security concern for smart devices in the home? A, interference with other devices. B, data privacy issues. C, power outages affecting functionality. D, the cost of device maintenance. The answer is B, data privacy issues. Number 72. What is a security best practice when developing mobile applications? A, minimal use of third-party libraries. B, regular application updates. C, strong server-side controls. D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above. Number 73. What cybersecurity threat is associated with AI and machine learning systems? A, inability to process large data sets. B, bias in decision-making processes. C, poisoning attacks through input data. D, reduced need for human intervention. The answer is C, poisoning attacks through input data. Number 74. What is the main goal of the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR? A, to enhance e-commerce security. B, to protect user data and increase transparency in data processing. C, to monitor and control internet traffic. D, to reduce software piracy. The answer is B, to protect user data and increase transparency in data processing. Number 75. What is the role of encryption in data security? A, to speed up data access. B, to ensure data is only accessible to unauthorized users. C, to ensure data integrity and confidentiality. D, to enhance data quality. The answer is C, to ensure data integrity and confidentiality.